Namaste everyone and welcome to this class. Today we are practicing a seated yoga flow which is a really nice and slow paced yoga flow which will help you get started with your day. All you need is a yoga mat and you might need two yoga blocks or a yoga strap but even if you don't have those props it's fine. I will show you different modifications that you can try. So let's roll up the mat, get on the mat and let's get started. So today we'll start in Sukhasan, simple cross-legged position. So sit comfortably on the mat in any sitting comfortable position. If this is not comfortable for you, you can also sit in a kneeling position. So sit comfortably with your spine straight, roll the shoulders down and back, relax the hands on the knees, keep your neck straight and close your eyes or just lower your gaze. Take a moment to connect with the body connect with the floor beneath you notice your surroundings connect with this present moment and slowly bring the awareness inwards on your breath begin to notice your own natural flow of the breath Allow yourself to fully relax and release your entire body on the mat in this present moment. Now let's take three deep breaths together to begin the class. Take a deep breath in through the nose and let go complete release. Inhale and exhale, release. One more deep breath in. Exhale, complete release. Slowly coming back to your natural breath. Bring the chin into the chest. Think, open the eyes and slowly lift the head as you look up. Now let's begin the class from the seated position. As you inhale, raise your both arms up, lengthen the spine, reach up, up, up. Feel the stretch from the sides of the body, actively reaching up with the hands, with the fingertips. As you exhale, bend forward. So spinal flexion, walk forward with the hands. Go as far as you can with the fingertips trying to touch your forehead all the way down on the mat. If it's not happening, it's fine. Hold wherever you are. Breathe into the space you're creating. Maybe rest your head on a block or all the way down. Keep walking forward with the hands. So pulling the hips back, but going forward with the hands to create more space in the spine. Now with next inhale, lift halfway. Walk slightly back with the hands. Now place your right hand on the left side of the mat, extending forward with the left hand. Feel the stretch in the right shoulder. Maybe look at your right hand. And slowly release the right hand. Now left hand on the right side of the mat. Feel the stretch in the left shoulder. At the same time, keep reaching forward with the right hand. And slowly release both hands forward. Inhale, stretch forward and exhale, walk back with the hands. Now we're coming back in the seated position. From here, place both hands behind your hips, fingertips pointing your knees. Spread the fingers, palms under the shoulders. As you inhale, press the palms, lift the hips higher. So knees more down, hips more higher, maybe look up. Open the chest, open the front side of the body, breathe. Stretching the shoulders as well. And as you exhale, bring the chin into the chest and slowly lower the hips all the way down. Now from here, we'll change the leg. So just change your leg, still sitting in Sukhasan. One more time, inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, forward bend. So stay up on the fingers or keep reaching forward, forward, forward with the hands, trying to relax the head down. 
on the mat it doesn't matter if your head is touching the floor or not you are still creating space by walking the hands forward and pulling the hips back breathe into the space and one more breath and now as you inhale look forward walk back with the hands coming back up and one more time place the palms back inhale press into the hands and lift the hips up knees down hips higher chest more open maybe look up breathe one more breath and exhale chin into the chest and slowly lower the hips all the way down from here we'll release the legs coming up on the knees in a tabletop from here knees in line with the hips palms under the shoulders spread the fingers let's start with five cat and cow tuck the toes under as you inhale drop the belly lift the chest exhale round and contract activate the spine inhale up exhale reverse three more inhale up exhale two more with the breath inhale exhale round and contract one more inhale drop the belly exhale round and contract now as you inhale drop the belly stay in this position and as you exhale drop the hips back on the heels okay still opening the chest and now from here round the back as you inhale come forward so we are coming forward with the rounded back again drop the belly lift the chest exhale back again inhale round the back as you come forward drop the belly and go back okay two more times round as you come forward drop the belly as you go back round and come forward drop the belly as you go back so move with the spine one more time round as you come forward drop the belly as you move back okay use your spine as you move back now from here again coming up in the neutral spine okay this time your spine is neutral from here extend your right hand forward left leg back now this time go higher with the left leg and higher with the right hand try to create the arch in the spine and from here bending the left knee move back with the right hand to catch your ankle if this is too much for you maybe stay here if you are not able to grab the binding maybe just stay here this is also fine or if you can then grab your ankle find the balance here and try lifting the heel more higher as you lift the heel more higher you are lifting the chest more higher keeping the balance finding the balance hold for 5 4 Three, two, pulling back with the heel, and one. Slowly release. Extend the hand forward, leg back, and release. Back to tabletop. Now on the other side, left hand forward, right leg back. Point the toes. Now reach back and more higher. Higher with the hand, higher with the leg. Then bend the knee, catch the ankle. Stay here. Find your maximum. Hold wherever it's comfortable for you. Just keep your balance maybe stay here or lift your heel up and back create the arch lift the chest breathe for 5 4 3 2 1 and one release extend your hand your leg and release all the way down back to table top from here moving into puppy pose walk forward with the hands keep the hips back in line with the knees either drop the forehead down or your chin down or your chest down so release your body all the way down without bringing the hips forward so find your maximum find your edge and hold wherever you are feel the opening in the upper back in the shoulders in the chest let go of the resistance feel the release as you breathe into this areas with each breath try to release a little more one more breath and now as you inhale slowly lift the head up look forward between the hands slowly shifting the weight forward into the forearms and lower the hips all the way down for sphinx pose so now we are on the forearms forearms are shoulder width apart extend the toes back press into the forearms as you lift the chest don't drop the shoulders breathe keep 
Keep the chest lifted, shoulders down and back, away from the ears. Breathe into the space. Two more breaths here. And slowly release and lower all the way down. Place the palms under the shoulders. As you inhale, lift the chest up for cobra pose. Elbows slightly bent, shoulders back. And as you exhale, lift the hips and drop the hips all the way back in child's pose. So bring the big toes together, go wider with the knees, extend the hands forward and rest the head all the way down. Breathe. Feel the length in the low back, in the spine, release the shoulders. Reconnect with long and deep breaths. And now with next inhale, again slowly shifting forward. Again, we will lower all the way down for Cobra. So first on the belly, press into the hands. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, moving back in child's pose. Lengthen the spine, relax the head. And let's do one more time. Inhale, slowly shift forward. Bend the elbows as you lower all the way down. Take your time. Press the palms, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, child's pose. Relax the head, release the shoulders. And now with next inhale, slowly come back up in a tabletop. From here, we'll move in downward facing dog. So tuck the toes under, lift the hips back up. Start to walk the knees to stretch the hamstring. Push the floor away, lengthen the spine. And exhale, both heels down, micro bend in the knee, slowly step back. So now we are at the back of the mat in this half forward fold position, Uttanasan, feet hip width apart. Hands can be on the shin or on the blocks. Inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold. From here, go wider with the feet. So toes 45 degree pointed out. Keep the hands on the blocks or on the floor or stay on the fingertips. As you exhale, slowly lower the hips all the way down for Malasan, yogic squat. Now if this is too much for you, then you can keep your heels lifted up, hands down by the sides, hands down on the mat. Or you can also place two blocks under your heels to find more support. Keep the chest lifted. If this is too much for you, maybe stay here. Try to lift the chest more higher. If you're able to drop your heels all the way down on the floor, then try bringing the hands together at your heart in Namaste. Malasan. Actively pressing into the knees to open the chest more forward and open the hips more. Stay here on the feet or as I already mentioned, you can keep your heels lifted up and or blocks under your heels. Breathe here. Keep lifting the chest. Maybe move the hips side to side. If that feels good, or if this is too much, then maybe just stay here. Breathe. And slowly come back to center. From here, lower the hips all the way down, okay? Or you can release the legs and then lower down. From here, we will extend the left leg out. Bend the right knee and drop the right knee down. So the sole of your right foot is inside your left inner thigh. Activate your left leg, pointing the left toes up. Now place your left hand outside your right knee. As you inhale, reach up with the right hand. And as you exhale, lean on the left side as you open the right side of the body. Now option to keep reaching up and over with this hand to open the chest and shoulder stay up. Or you can wrap a strap around your left foot like this to find more length and more space. So you can wrap the strap and you can hold the strap with the other hand. So if you have the strap, then you can try with the strap or you can just keep reaching up and over with the hand. So both options are available here. You can try with the strap or without the strap. Don't force yourself into the pose. Hold wherever it's comfortable for you. Breathe. And now as you inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, release the hand. From here, slowly release. Let's switch the legs. So extending the right leg out to the side. Left knee bend. Left 
foot inside the right inner thigh now right hand outside the left knee left hand up inhale and exhale lean over to the right leg opening the left side of the body and breathe into the space if you're flexible enough you might be able to catch the toes if you're not there yet it's fine hold wherever you are enjoy the journey and respect the limits of the body feel good wherever you are use the strap or just stay here without the strap one more breath and slowly come back up and release from here bring the legs together and lay all the way down on the mat from here bring the right knee over the left knee and hug your both knees in so maybe just stay here grab your both knees and trying to pull both knees into your chest or if you're comfortable then maybe grab your opposite ankles with your hands actively try to pull the knees in this pose will also help you find uh, a deep stretch in the outer hip breathe maybe stay here or gently rock from side to side if that feels good this is an option or just stay here holding the knees and try to pull the knee in so do whatever feels good try to relax and release try to relax into the pose breathe deeply and slowly release let's switch the leg left knee over the right knee either hug the knees or grab your ankles try to pull the legs in find a deep stretch in the left outer hip this time so the more you pull your leg in you will find the stretch a little more deeper so just wherever it feels good breathe into the pose into the stretch try to observe which part feels more tight or more flexible and then slowly release from here open the knees wider okay feet down maybe go mat with the part a little more wider than mat with the part release the hands by the sides palms facing down and then move both knees to the left and both knees to the right to release the hips and the low back try to keep your upper body your shoulders grounded and just release the low body the hips legs and slow down the moment slow down the breath your heart rate just observe the stretch and slowly come back up to center release the hands bring the legs together again stay here in this half shavasan position or you can lay all the way down in shavasan or you can turn to the right side slowly come back up and sit in sukhasan sit comfortably with your spine straight hands down rested on your knees maybe palms facing up close your eyes with your neck straight in line with the spine watch the breath going in and out allow your body to reset and find its own natural breathing pattern just try to observe as you breathe without changing the pattern the rhythm of the breath just observe the breath going in and out notice how the body feels so just take a moment to observe how your body feels different now after the practice do you feel yourself more open more relaxed more calm more peaceful and more balanced how differently you feel emotionally or mentally or physically whatever it is try to observe stay connected with the breath and keep observing yourself for next few minutes 
So continue with your meditation in the seated position or in the lying down position. So continue here for a few minutes and then you can relax and release your body in Shavasana and surrender yourself completely into the pose. Melt on the mat and let go of all the tension, all the worries and just stay connected, stay conscious with your body and with your breath. Thank you very much for practicing with me and thank you for sharing your space and energy with me. I hope you're feeling wonderful too. Sending you lots of love and positive energy. See you in the next class. Until then, have a great day. Namaste.